Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Douglas mattress from Novosbed. It's a Canadian company, and the Douglas is 100% designed, constructed, and shipped in Canada. Now, I'm going to put the mattress through a few tests and give some general recommendations at the end of the review, but if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Now, I'm going to start the review with the construction portion. We're going to begin that with the cover, which is made with a tensile blend. Now, tensile is an eco-friendly material, which is made from eucalyptus trees. Uh, you know, it's really soft. It actually does a good job of wicking away moisture, which is going to help with cooling during the night. Now, I also want to make a note that the cover is removable and machine washable for easy cleaning. So now let's take a look underneath the cover at the layers of the mattress. The Douglas mattress is an all foam construction made of three different layers and standing 10 inches in height. The top layer or the comfort layer is two inches of gel memory foam. It's soft, so it's going to allow you to sink in for pressure relief. And like memory foam, it has the slow response to pressure. It's going to provide that contouring feeling you might expect out of a classic memory foam. Now, memory foam at times can be known for trapping a bit of body heat, causing you to overheat while you sleep, but the gel infusion in this layer is actually going to help to dissipate the body heat, draw it away from the sleeper to help you sleep a bit cooler. Now, the layer below that is two inches of Springtex foam or Energex foam. Uh, it also is pretty soft, so it's going to allow you to sink in for pressure relief as well. However, this has a bit of a quicker response to pressure, which is going to help to defend against a stuck feeling in the mattress. I should also note that uh, you know, Springtex or Energex foam, uh, it's a bit latex-like, so it also has some good temperature regulation and cooling properties. Now, it acts as a bit of a transition from the kind of softer contouring of the gel memory foam going through the mattress to the base of the mattress here, which is six inches of polyfoam. It's a bit firmer, has a quick response to pressure. This layer really acts as the foundation of the Douglas, providing support to the layers of foam above it, as well as some deep compression support to the sleeper on top of the mattress. Now that we've seen what makes up the Douglas mattress, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of it. So we'll start by pressing into the cover. The first thing I feel is that soft gel memory foam comfort layer contouring in my hand. So add a little bit more pressure, I start to interact with the transition layer below that, which is also pretty soft, so I'm able to sink pretty far into the mattress. So I'm gonna lie down on my back. You know, on my back, even with my weight pretty evenly distributed, I do feel like I'm sinking into the mattress a little bit. You can feel it kind of contour around my body and fill in the space beneath my lower back. And as I change positions, because of that slower response to pressure from the gel memory foam, I can feel like I'm a little bit sunken into the mattress. So now that I'm on my side here, you know, side sleepers want to be extra conscious of pressure forming because of that increased weight concentration over lower surface area. It pushes you further into the mattress and you tend to interact with more of the support layers of the mattress because of that side sleepers do tend to like softer mattresses as they allow them to sink further in for pressure relief. You know, a lot of side sleepers do complain about pressure points forming at the shoulders and the hips, which can cause aches and pains. So we are gonna take a closer look at pressure later on in the review. However, I did just wanna point out now that, you know, I do feel like this mattress is a little bit on the softer side of a medium firmness. So I don't really feel any pressure forming uh, while lying on this in this position. So I'm gonna roll onto my stomach. You know, stomach sleepers, kind of the opposite of side sleepers, tend to prefer firmer mattresses as they do a good job of keeping their hips from sinking in, keeping their spines in a good position. As I mentioned before, I do feel like this mattress is a little bit on the softer side of a medium firmness, and I do feel my hips sinking in a little bit, but you know, everyone can feel firmness a little bit differently because of different sizes and weight distributions. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. So if you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of the Douglas, and a little bit more detailed description on the feel of it, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. Instead of just describing the feel of the Douglas to you, I want to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So to do that, I've laid this pressure map down on top of the mattress, and I'll lie down on it, and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. So I'm going to start on my back. A 
roll onto my side. Try a few positions here on my side. Finally on my stomach. Just to give you a better idea of the bounce on the Douglas, I have this 10 pound seal ball. I'm dropping it here. As you can see, it's not too bouncy. Uh, you know, this is a pretty low response in terms of uh, bounciness on a mattress. While we're here, we're also gonna run a quick motion transfer test. Basically, I have a seismometer set up on one side of the bed where someone might be sleeping and on the other side. I'm gonna drop the same 10 pound steel ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches. Simulate someone, you know, rolling around in the middle of the night on the other side of the bed. Uh, and the disturbance that's transferred across the mattress is measured by the seismometer. You're gonna see the results on screen now. And in my opinion, these are really impressive results. Uh, in terms of disturbance transferred and what you might feel if someone's moving around on the other side of the mattress. The memory foam does a good job of kind of uh, muffling or dulling uh, the disturbance transferred across the bed. You know, a lot of people buying a mattress are gonna wanna know if they're gonna feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into the mattress. So to test this, we have a sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and check to see how far into the mattress they sink. So we have our six pound medicine ball, it's a little sand, simulates a lighter body part. 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball we use during this test. 50 pound medicine ball, it's also filled with sand and simulates you know, kind of a heavier portion of your body. And finally we have this 100 pound medicine ball, if you're a bit bigger, it simulates kind of the center of your body. And in terms of sinkage, we have an inch and a half for the six pound medicine ball, two and a half inches for the steel ball, uh, four and a half inches for the 50 pound ball, and just over six inches uh, for the 100 pound medicine ball, and when I'm comparing these to other mattresses, these are a bit above average in terms of results, so you are gonna feel like you're sinking into the mattress a little bit with that contouring feeling from the memory foam. You know, I definitely didn't have any kind of like stuck feeling in the mattress, I'm able to change positions, however, you're definitely gonna feel like you're sinking into the Douglas a bit. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner and need to use the entire surface area of the mattress, edge support is something you're gonna wanna take a look at. A mattress with a strong edge support is gonna allow you to sleep all the way to the side, make the bed feel a little bit bigger. Now, when I'm lying near the side of the Douglas, you know, over here, there's an even feel uh, from the center of the mattress, so that's nice. But let's get really close to the edge of the mattress here. You can see some of the contouring from that gel memory foam pushing through those softer layers of foam, which is to be expected. Uh, but the lower foam, uh, the high density polyfoam base is holding up. They roll onto my side here, even hang off the mattress again. Again, uh, you know, you see me push through those softer foams, which is to be expected. You can see it contouring in my body, how that works a bit. So now I'm gonna sit up on the side of the mattress here. You know, think putting your shoes on in the morning or getting into bed at night. Uh, and it does a good job of showing what, you know, an increased weight concentration will do to this side portion of the bed. As you can see, I'm pushing right through the softer foams on top. Again, to be expected from softer foams, but the high density polyfoam base is holding up. So, you know, overall, pretty good edge support from the Douglas. Just to give you some basic information about the Douglas mattress, there's a 120 day trial period, 15 year warranty, and shipping is free and it'll arrive compressed in a box. Now, who to recommend this mattress to is Canadian shoppers. As I mentioned before, the Douglas is 100% designed, manufactured, and shipped in Canada, which means there are some savings that they can pass on to Canadian shoppers. I'd also recommend the Douglas as a value purchase. You know, it's a quality mattress with good materials uh, that comes in at a reasonable price. And finally, I would recommend this mattress for those looking for a softer foam feel, someone like a side sleeper. You know, the, uh, two inches of gel memory foam on top, as well as the soft transition layer allow you to sink in a bit for pressure relief. Now there's some general recommendations, so if you do want some example sleepers of who you know, I think might be a good fit here, let's say you're you know, 220 pounds, I'm sorry, I don't have the metric conversion, uh, you're a stomach sleeper. I don't know that I would recommend the Douglas to you as I think your hips might sink in uh, a little bit during your back of the line, but you know, if you're 150 pounds, you're a side sleeper, 
you know, I think that Douglas would be a good choice for you as you will be able to sink in for pressure relief. Now those are some pretty specific examples. So if you are looking for you know, a personal recommendation or you have any questions that I didn't cover during the review, please feel free to leave a note in the comments section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if your mattress buying search has just begun, please uh, Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's gonna have a lot of information about you know, mattresses, different materials used. It's gonna help you on your search. And finally, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel. So we're gonna keep putting out more content that's gonna help you get a better night's sleep. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.